Hello and good evening. Um, I'm here mowing a bit of grass and I'm swapping it. We're on a fair, fair hill here and uh, I'm doing seven kilometers. You could do more, but it's just uh, a bit easier on, our, on the uphill stretch. Uh, normally what I mow is about 12 kilometers an hour that way. 12 to 14, try and do as much as I can, but um, I probably push her to nine going up the hill, but she's just going to start really rising the temperature gauge if I do that. So I'll tip away. There's also a crazy, crazy crop of stuff here, so um, no point pushing her beyond her limits. Um, we have a nice bit on for the weekend, and I'll fill you in on all of that as we go, but for the moment, we're just doing more. Right, so we're into the swing of it now. We have the headlands out. We've uh, got a few runs up and down done, and we're getting there. I think there's about 15 acres, 16 acres in this field, so hopefully it won't be long uh, getting through it. Then I have maybe two or three acres to do after that. And that is it for today, and probably it for mowing for this weekend because. Uh, like I say, I think it's supposed to rain again Sunday and we have maybe a hundred odd acres to pick up uh, tomorrow, so enough to do, enough to do, enough to do. Um, it's a bit of up here, you're really on top of a hill once you get up there. Well, I suppose you're not technically on top of a hill, there's more to go, but there's a savage view. You can see way back over that direction, all around you really, you can see. Um, our mowers are flying, thanks for the God, flying away, flying away, very, very happy with the mowers, um, cutting well and doing a brilliant job, and swarking very, very well also, so yeah, I think, um, I just could not look at anything from our patterns or mowers at this stage. Our CVX is also going well, going very well, uh, even though she had a little bit of a help from, uh, from a chip just for this job to get our max performance out of her um, while she's needed on the moment but seems to be flying away doing a, doing a very good job and uh, we changed our red in it as well we also put in a red with bigger a bigger cooling uh, cooling fins and that's keeping her cool it's keeping her well cool she does rise to about there but uh, she falls back down pretty much straight away and she doesn't go any higher than that anyway so I'm happy with that. Um, other than that really we're sawing away through stuff, we're getting jobs done and uh, I'd say every blade of grass we have to pick up tomorrow is swarted so that spares a lot of time for us with the raking and uh, also when the grass is so dry I think it spares the farmer a bit of an expense as well of uh, running around with a rake when we're able to do it this way so yeah are the rakes going out of fashion a small bit uh i don't know i don't know i think a rake still has a very important place for everyone but um where you can group with i don't see any point in you know when this has been picked up tomorrow and it's now in the evening i don't see any point in leaving this out uh until tomorrow not going to, it's not going to wilt much more out in tin foots as it is in this and the grass is bone dry bone bone dry so i don't know i don't really see the point in uh, in raking it so yeah um i'll build on i'll keep mowing keep getting through this and we'll chat to you later okay so i'm here loading uh trailers i'm loading trailers with no tractors on them um We've done this from time to time. It's been a while since we have done it, but uh, it's a very, very good system if you have a big enough yard and uh, there's enough room and all of that. So basically, we're using three trailers and there's only one tractor moving them. He's leaving the trailer in the yard that's been unloaded. He's leaving the trailer in the field that's been loaded. And then the third trailer is a kind of a go between. So when there's one empty in the yard, that comes back here. And when there's one full here, that goes to the yard and vice versa. So basically the two of us are constantly loading. Um, so in this particular job, there has been um, 
There are 300 bales, give or take, 10 bales, and um, we had to draw maybe 70 of them with double bale handlers, so that was slower, obviously, um, just because we couldn't access the field with the, with the trailers. But, um, so in five hours, we have the, the 300 moved. I just have basically about 10 left here, so, um, that's good going in my book. That's very, very good progress. And um, we're drawing them about a kilometer, I would say, probably the guts of a kilometer away from the yard, where we are. So yeah, that's very, very good in my opinion. Um, heartbeat, that kind of progress. Probably would with, you'd definitely have two men less with it, or one man less with a Celtic or something like that, but then you have the investment of it and uh, also one thing that I've often talked about with a Celtic is you know a lot of places you go the passages are rough or the fields are rough or whatever and if you have to face drawing maybe three four hundred bales ten at a time then you're going to be crippled by the time you're finished you know so that's kind of one downside I've talked about to them. Uh, no, that's not the machine's fault in, in any way. It's just kind of a fact of life, really. But uh, what can you do? What can you do? So we're um, once we've this one finished, it's back on double bail handler duty again, and we'll get another job uh, blown out of the way. Uh, the little John Deere here that. A good few of you have been asking about is uh, is here drawing the bales as well. I'm nearly finished and with two small little fields below the road and then back home uh, there's another small bit to do there but uh, we're getting a small small dropper in but not much so I think we're going to get it all wrapped up before we get any large amount uh, tomorrow. I think is pretty much rolled off and the week is too so it'll be very nice to have all these jobs uh, done for people before we get any large amounts of rain. Uh, I hate getting caught with rain, I absolutely hate it because it's, not only is it like, it's, it, it, it's bad for, well I suppose it, a certain amount, obviously if it pours then it's, yes, it's bad for the, you know, it makes bad silage and whatever, but it's, uh, you need to be efficient with your time and all that, and it's kind of a poor reflection on you if, you're getting beat with, um, you know, if you should have done a job at a certain time and then it winds up that you don't actually do it at a certain time and then it pours rain in the time that you were supposed to do it, then it's a poor reflection on you. But sometimes it just rains and there's nothing you can do about it or nothing anyone can do about it. But if you're supposed to be in a place for a certain time, then you really need to be in a place for a certain time. Don't say you're going to be there at a certain time, otherwise it's just not going to work and you end up with annoyed customers. So it, if, if it doesn't work, like you know, if I, when I give someone my word, I try and stick to it as best I can. Um, things pop up in the middle, but you have to deal with those as fast as you can and get the wheels back moving and uh, plenty of time for getting everything right on the wet days. Um, Little John Deere has just gone up behind us. We'll try and get us on our way down. Maybe you'll be able to see him there. Lovely tractor to be fair. Uh, no, they're just not my cup of tea, but it is a nice tractor. Um, lovely farmer's tractor. It's a 6 4 30, and uh, that is from Elliot Bin. We have that one hired. Um, and a big thanks to him. Um, straight up with it, landed straight on, there was no complication about the whole thing, so much appreciate for that. Uh, this one comes from Wilson Hire uh, in the UK, and like that, split between the two of them, uh, we needed a big one, uh, well I suppose two big ones would have done us, but um, a lower one was very handy to get, and uh, worked out better for us to have one with a loader. Right. So, on to the last bit of bailing. Um, get this one, we on every camera up here. Temporary, and just switch down my control box. This is just right next door, so. My knives are up. I'm still on the bail count from this job that we were finishing off yesterday evening. 
and yeah, we're more or less ready to go, I think. So, PDO on. I had a preset set here, but it seems to keep uh, going off of its own accord, so we'll see if it's back. Yeah, I'd say we're good. Sounds like we're good. There we go. So, we'll put her in the drive. Set the target speed. Somewhere around there. And logger pickup. Yeah, we should be good to go. But yeah, this uh, I just look, you'll see now in a minute why you can't take this tractor at all at all at all. If I didn't bung up the pickup. Anyway, you'll see when I have a full bail here now what I mean about it. Right, so I want to stop. It's just, it freewheeled too much more than I would like it to freewheel. Uh, if you had um, the original CVX N mode 3 there, she would literally stick you to the window. And this just doesn't do that, so uh, we're just out of plastic here now. We may as well show you a bit of change of the plastic as well while we have a bit of time. So, knock down our preset and knock off our PCO. Put her in park and we're good to get up. I always throw the cardboard ones into the ditch because they can be disposed in a way in their own time or rotten away I suppose I should say. I always pull the ends off before I put them on the on the baler as well. It just makes it that bit easier for me. So just pull off enough of it for the through your two rollers. And there you go. Now the old ones used to have this little latch to lock down here, but these things have this, but uh, you do need to press down on it. It's very handy for pressing down. It just locks automatically, but you do need uh, two hands to unlock it, really. There we go. So, give another pull. And instead of tying a knot, sometimes you do need to tie a knot, but instead of tying a knot, I just jam them in there. 
and put down our door, press our button, and away we go. And you can see that's after gripping on there, and that is around the other side, so that is all good. Now, this lad has a bit of plastic on him, so I'm not gonna throw him into the ditch. All the sounds uh, Baylor men will be all too familiar with it. Eh? The sound of the plastic, sound of the wrap going around and all those various things you just get so accustomed to uh, over the years. Tuck them in there. Tuck them in there nicely. Press our button, make sure everything is funky dory, which it is. And we're ready to go again. Repeat the cycle again. On with the PTO. Up with our preset. And we're off. The bale's now wrapped. So I know the farmer here isn't going to get a chance to draw them. Uh, so he asked me would I leave them in by the ditch. So for the sake of the small field that's in it, I'm just going to back them in and uh, hopefully we get no crow damage which you usually don't to be fair when they're in by the ditch now another thing about this raptor is the shuttle lever is a pain over there uh, the classics flick and away you go but this one you really need to do the full motion the full arc of the of the movement or else the judgment doesn't work right so that is one thing that i don't really like about it either um, look, if I had bought this thing, I would be disappointed, to tell you the truth. I really, really would be disappointed. But maybe in time, like everybody, uh, everyone I talk to that has them say, you grow, to, you grow to like them more, you grow to discover that they are nicer than the classic. But uh, I don't know, it will take a lot to convince me, I think, in my personal opinion. So, um, yeah, see that now, like, see how much she's rolled there. Just, just not the job, just not the job, so, anyway, I'll stay more and uh, we'll chat to you later. Right, so we have it a bit better now, I have my target says lower again, um, lower than I would like to be honest, I like 15 because you can swing around in the headlands real fast, but uh, seems to be most reactive around here, I'm driving it off of this light now as well, opposed to, um, opposed to on the foot and that seems to be working a lot better um, seems to be a lot more aggressive in the stop which uh, is, is, is what I'm looking for really but uh, yeah that seems to have uh, cured our problem so I'll just show you, you know once we've this bail made uh, what I mean but it is it is noticeably different See, that's pretty good now to be fair and uh, I'm forwarding and reversing here as well so yeah nice job uh, but still 
she's no stutter. She's no stutter. So yeah, look, uh, this is my last field now. Um, we'll get this one done and we'll leave it at that for this video. Thanks very much everyone who watches and gives us a bit of feedback. It's much appreciated and uh, I enjoy reading through the comments even though I mightn't respond to them all. So yeah, thanks for your feedback lads and we'll see you again next week.